Okay, once we get a lot of the fat taken off, we'll cut the hot sauce in the side. Alright, so as we look at this, it's kind of hard to see the iris and the color and the pupil from this side. Right? We can easily see if I turn it around and I take the probe. I'm pinching the optic nerve right there. Can we see that? Mm -hmm. Now the way you're going to cut into this is you're going to kind of lay this down like this. And you're just going to take the scalpel and about a quarter of an inch from where the cornea is. You're just going to cut in. Okay, so about a quarter of an inch, maybe right about there. Mm. You see a little bit of liquid come out and that's going to be part of that humor. You don't need the scalpel anymore because then you can just take your scissors and then just cut around that. That's the optimist humor or that's the well, humor? That's probably a little bit of the vitreous humor. And part of the reason why you're holding this down like this is so that you don't kind of take the lens and dislodge it. So, now that I've opened this up, that's the lens I just popped out. I'll put them back in for a second. Damn it. Now, on this hand over here, you can see part of the square on the outside. And you can see a little bit. Now, on your hand out, if you look down bottom, the cali has a blah, blah, blah. You know, the choroid. When you look at the when you look at the retina, it looks like a wrinkled yellow tissue, and that's what this is like here. When you look for the retina on the back, remember it's the innermost lining, and that's the retina that's right there. <laughs> and then if I kind of take this for a second, I'm just going to peel this back. I'm going to peel peel off between there. So that's sclera. This side is going to be choroid. And this side here is going to be retina. This is the lens. And everything around the lens that I'm pulling, pulling out here, I'm going to pull it out like that. All this stuff around the end is going to be part of that ciliary body. It's going to suspend that lens up and kind of help it change its shape when it's kind of responding to light and vision and the like. Now, they may put a probe in here and just kind of go straight through the opening. And there's only one opening. And what's that opening called? So if I peel this all the way back, inside and out like that, this is all the... Now, inside here, this is all going to be ciliary body. Can everybody see that radiating type mm -hmm. look to it? That's part of the ciliary body. That opening was the pupil, right? Mm -hmm. If I stick my probe in, I then went between the lens and where that's at. What chamber am I in? Aqueous, Aqueous humor in the anterior chamber. If I'm back here, I'm still in the posterior chamber because I'm behind the lens and that had vitreous humor. So, question could be, identify the chamber. Second question could be, what kind of liquid's inside? Vitreous humor. Probe could be stuck inside here. Identify the chamber, anterior chamber. What kind of liquid is inside? Water-based, aqueous humor. But this wriggly stuff around here, this is the ciliary body all around. Okay, that was the lens, sorry body, and then the linings we just went over. Sclera on the outside, connective tissue, with a middle layer of vascularity, choroid, and an inner layer that in this case looks wrinkly, pinky, tan, which is the retina, which is the neural layer. 
Then? Well, you can see some vessels in there. That's going to be part of the choroid. Okay. Okay. Kind of get the idea? Mm -hmm. Now, again, what you're going to do with the rest of your time in your group, you grab yourself an eyeball, kind of do the dissection. You have a good sheet of these little exercises that he wants you to do with light and the like and the test tubes. Make sure you have tried some of those, etc. They're very well explained in the book. He, he kind of gives some questions <coughs> on any, each of the activities that he wants you to kind of answer himself. Hey, what do you think about this? So kind of trying to work through some of that. And I'll walk around and try to help you with some of those activities. Okay? Get to work. See you, Mom.